Shout Alleluia. Shout Alleluia. Let all the children of God shout Alleluia. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, verse 24. You have started your day by shouting hallelujah. A song of praise to the Lord Almighty. And so I prophesy into your day before midnight today you will hear good news i prophesy into your life as you step out of the house today events happenings that will bring about the praises of god out of your mouth glorious things that will make people to gather to celebrate with you shall happen in your life in the name of jesus you have started your day by shouting hallelujah and so we decree let evil depart of your way you have you have praised the name of the lord with a shout of hallelujah. And so let every evil on your way, on your path, in your family depart now in the name of Jesus. And so let those that believe in that prophecy shout a better hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. A boy lay. In a letter, then she hallelujah. Lower him. Cut out the 21 days. Is here. Kokoi. Emma Corey to two. Emma Corey. Are you that household where they are shouting hallelujah currently? That family that is shouting hallelujah presently. In that household, yes, your family, between now and the next 21 days, there shall be a shout of joy. In that family, in that household, you shall sing for joy. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have declared. Amen. I welcome you to the presence of God. I welcome you to this prayer altar. I welcome you to Adura Uro. Our daily prayer devotion program. Where we come together every day, Monday to Friday. To commit our ways in the hands of the Lord. Because you are here today. Evil shall not befall you. Evil shall not befall your household by the reason of your presence. In this prayer meeting today, may the Lord answer your prayers. Your greatest fear shall become a great testimony. May the hand of transformation, glorious transformation, of the Lord rest upon your destiny you will shout for joy in Jesus mighty name 
before we go to the program properly, I have a good news to share. I have a good news for you. And so, so as not to waste time, let all the men proudly wave their hands and shout hallelujah. Men, daddy, look at your wife. The same style that I'm using, look at your wife and shout hallelujah. Look at your wife. Please shout hallelujah. Men, shake your hands proudly. Wave your hands and shout hallelujah. And let all the women reply by saying glory. <laughs> let all the women say glory. <laughs> glory to Jesus. I am pleased to announce to you, ma, that Atote Bimao to the glory of God. God have added to this family of faith a bouncing baby boy. God have added to us again a bouncing baby boy from one of our families who is also a partner in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. I remember the last time that I was in Dallas. Huh? This woman with a big tummy drove all the way from Houston to meet me in Dallas just to pray for her and to counsel her over a particular matter. I said, You should have called me before. She said, uh -uh. I did it to lay your hands on me and lay hands on the baby in my tummy. So she got into the car and drove herself heavily pregnant. Ah, women, women are sacrificing. They sacrifice a lot. Heavily pregnant. She drove herself from Houston to meet me for prayers in Dallas. And I told her to stay calm because God is on her side. We prayed together, and I think that was the last time we spoke. The next thing I heard was a good news. She said, PSO, our baby have finally arrived. I pray for this boy. I pray for this baby boy. God's glorious intention for your life shall not be destroyed ah, in life you will never suffer delay your journey shall be very easy your journey shall be very smooth your life shall be sweet in the name of jesus if there is any evil in your father's house in your mother's house I decree over your destiny, you are exempted. You brought joy, and so joy shall never depart from your life. In the name of Jesus, your life shall be without any form of discomfort. May you live a comfortable life. The arrival of this baby in this family shall bring prosperity it shall bring wealth it shall bring progress it shall bring breakthrough it shall bring success it shall bring protection it shall bring good health in the name of jesus and if there is anyone under the sound of my voice trusting the lord for this job for this kind of joy receive now in the name of jesus let your womb open now is there anyone under the sound of my voice trusting the lord for boys is there 
ifami ororoyan atori ofe bibi okunrin san lowo the anointing and the grace to conceive a male child to conceive boys is flowing now mo si fe tari re sodo re and i want to transfer is there anyone under the sound of my voice that would like to give back to boys this year this year this year by your faith receive in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus i prophesy upon your life and destiny that which i have said today about conceiving boys shall manifest now nine months from now you shall return back with your testimonies so shall it be in jesus mighty name we have declared amen 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 in jesus name so now we have 13 boys and 10 girls 13 boys and 10 girls that is the update for now by the special grace of god in this ministry from january till now god have blessed us with 23 babies to the glory of god in this ministry god has blessed us so far this year with 23 babies heavenly father before september triple this number for us in the name of jesus let those who are pregnant deliver safely in the name of jesus preserve the mother preserve the babies rebuke miscarriage give them strength may they not fall sick give them joy give them power to carry the pregnancy to full maturity in the name of jesus remember those that are looking on to you give them plenty reasons to rejoice remember them lord remember them all the waiting mothers remember your words that says none shall be barren in my house remember the prophecy upon human race you said be ye fruitful and multiply let it come to pass let it come to fulfillment in the lives of your children in the name of jesus remember them lord let their womb open remember them lord show your favor in this ministry this year let there be shout of babies in the name of jesus lord let there be emergence of brand new mothers women that has never conceived before touch them touch their womb give them joy grant their heart desires remember them open their womb and lord let there be shouts of joy in this place in your presence also in jesus mighty name we have declared amen glory to jesus now I want to encourage us i know we have tried but we can do better i want to encourage us to please connect others the same way we have connected what do i mean by that it is time to share to, to share it is time to share this live broadcast you're watching us on instagram kindly copy the link and please begin to share god bless you as you do so instagram family god bless you god bless you please copy the link send to friends and family let them join us for this powerful deliverance session. You can at the same time tag your friends directly. You can post on your story, Insta story, Facebook story, WhatsApp status. Yes, it draws a lot of attention. It brings people to the place of prayer. If that is your only little way of evangelizing, please kindly do it proudly. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. So you can share the link on your Insta story, on your Facebook story. On your whatsapp status you can also send to your friends god bless you god bless you god bless you as you share and the number of views increases 
the Lord increase you on all sides in the name of Jesus. The Lord multiply you great in the name of Jesus. YouTube family, it's time to share. Copy the link and please begin to share. It's time to share. <laughs> I remember someone now, as I'm saying, it's time to share. This, this man, this pastor, called my immediate younger brother in Nigeria and said, you better talk to your brother in America. All the nonsense that he's doing on Facebook. We told him to go and start a church. He said, no, that God have not said that. I watch his program. He's calling Facebook Parish, Parish One, calling YouTube Parish Two. Is that not nonsense? Who does a church on Facebook and YouTube? I mean, he said all manner of things. I said, ah, help me tell him again that it is not yet time. God have not told us to start a church. I mean, he kept showing concern. Go and start the church. And finally, when we heard from God and God told us to start, don't forget I told you, he's a shepherd. He has a church in America. At the end of the day, when God told us to start, now he now saw that what he called nonsense is not actually nonsense. And when we started, you know, on a glorious level, till now, <laughs> our father, who was in America, that told us to go and start a church, have refused to talk to us and have refused to visit the church. He said, ha, ah, we told him to start a church because we saw the gift of God in his life. But we never thought, ah, that it's going to be as this. Mubadua. Ore toma kaota alelaya. I decree mighty blessings, great breakthrough that will give your enemies sleepless night. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. That made me to understand that it is not everyone that claims to love you that actually love you. <laughs> Some people want you to be good, but never beyond a particular level. They want you to be good, honestly. They want you to be fine, but not at the same level with them, not above or beyond them. When you start, you know, rising above their level, there will be a problem. Whoever that does not want you to arise, whoever that does not want you to rise to the top, whoever that does not want you to go far, whoever that does not want you to fulfill destiny, in the name of Jesus, the Lord put them to shame. The Lord cover them with shame in the name of Jesus. So, YouTube parish too. Uh, before they said we are doing nonsense. Now, let's prove that now that there is glory in that nonsense. YouTube, please share. God bless you as well. Share. Please share. Share greatly. And please don't forget to press the like button. It is very important. Facebook, glory to Jesus. Facebook, thank you, Lord. Uh, Facebook is increasing gradually by the day, unlike yesterday. So Facebook, please share, 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 share. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Facebook. Share at least 12 times. Share at least 12 times. And it shall be well with you, even as you do so. Share and invite. Share and don't forget to put on your story, on your Facebook story. And don't forget to share the link also on your WhatsApp status so that it can reach a lot of people. God bless you as you evangelize. Just by sharing the God of evangelism will make your life sweet. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So today we are going to be treating a very powerful topic. Yeah. A very, very powerful topic as given by the Holy Spirit of God. Victory over Memukan spirit. This is the first time that I'm teaching this topic. I mean, I was just studying, just studying, and then it came. I said, really? And I sat down. 
and the Lord began to open my eyes to some things and I began to write and I know that it is because of you, you, you and even myself victory over Memokan spirit but before uh, but before we do that <laughs> but before we do that kindly grab your prayer water grab your prayer water grab your Bible it's time for the reading of the opening psalm it's time for the reading of the opening psalm now I need you to take note of this psalm because at the end of the day when I explain in details to you what is meant by the Memokan spirit, if the case is, if the issue is related to you or the case is related to your case, definitely you are going to need this psalm. The opening psalm that I'm going to give us today is a deliverance psalm, especially if you are being attacked by this spirit. If you have been attacked by somebody who's supposed to be a friend, if you have been attacked by somebody who's supposed to be the closest to you, you will actually need this psalm to call upon the Lord for quick deliverance. Ladies and gentlemen, Psalm 55. Open your Bible to Psalm 55. That is our opening psalm for today. Psalm 55. We are going to declare it into our prayer water together and then we'll go into the word of God and then we shall pray. And after that, what do you do? Drink your prayer water. As you drink it, you drink the power of God. You drink the fire of God. Fire of deliverance. You drink the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 55. That is our opening psalm. A very very powerful psalm Psalm 55 glory to Jesus I want to appreciate every adorer of family remember the pastor that I told you about some months ago about a month or two months ago that you know came to social media to ask that their local drum be replaced or repaired he came to the social media asking for help, you know, to repair the Akuba drum, the local drum that they use in their church. And I reached out to the man of God. I said, ah, must you repair this? People don't even use this kind of drum anymore. What about latest drum set? Ah, he said, we don't mind, but we don't have power. By the special grace of God, God used us for him. The church now have latest brand new drum set one of my friends reached out to me yesterday and said pso remember that pastor that god used you to buy drum set for says something has been telling me to buy a conga drum for the pastor i said conga tat kudos kas, kas, i said it's expensive now say i don't mind i don't care how much the price i just want to sew I also want to sow into that church. You are leading by example. So the same God that is blessing you and your ministry, I want to follow the example so that that God can bless me. At first, I did not take it serious. And lo and behold, yesterday in the evening, I got a heavy alert on my phone in our Nigeria account. I saw the name. Uncle, what about this money? Said when I told you that I want to buy another musical instrument for that church, you thought I was joking. That is the money. Please kindly send to that pastor to buy. And as the Lord prospers, we are going to fill his church with latest musical equipment. Ah, I mean, since yesterday, I've been thinking about that. I pray for this man and his family. In the name of Jesus, wealth shall not depart from your home. Prosperity shall not depart from your life. Whatever it took you to contribute to the work of the house of God. You don't know this pastor. You don't know this church. Yet, 
you decided to be a blessing to the church, I decree throughout your lifetime, you will be a blessing. I don't know whether you are watching or not, but I pray for you that your source of blessings will never run dry. Thank you so, so much. Every Aduro Uro family, thank you for doing good. Thank you for being a blessing to humanity. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 55. I'm going to read the Yoruba translation of the Bible as usual. However, you are free to read any translation of the Bible of your choice. Psalm 55. Let's go. Feticia duame olono masi se fi ara re pa mo kuro ninu ebe mi fi yesi mi ki o si da mi lohun ara mi ko lele ninu aroye mi emi si n pariwo nitori ohun ota ni nitori ni lara eniyan buburu nitori ti awon nitori ti won mu ibi ba mi ati ni ibinu won de kon fun mi aya dun mi gidi gidi ninu mi ipaya iku se subulu mi iberu ati wariri wa si ara mi ati iberu iku bo mi mole emi si wi pe ah iba se pe emi ni iya pa bi adaba emi ba fo lo emi asese mi ki esi emi ba rin lo si ona jijin rere emi asi ma gbe ni agiju Emi ba yara sa sala me kuro ninu e fofu lile ati jana ati jina oluwa se iparun ki o si ya won ni a nitori ti mo ri wa gbara ati ja ni ilu na osa ati oru ni won finrin o di rekiri iwa ika pelu ati ka nu nbe ni arin re iwa buburu nbe ni arin re etan ati eke kokuro ni igboro re nitori ti ki se ota logan mi o nje emi ba pamora be ni ki nse awon to korira mi ni o gbe ara won ga si mi nje emi ba fi ara mi pa mo kuro lodo won sugbon iwo ni op iwo ni okunrin ogba mi amona mi ati ojulumo mi awaju mo gbimo didun awon ta jo ngbi mo didun ati awon ta jo nkegberin wo ile olorun lo eh awon lo gbi mo oluwa psalm 55 verse 15 psalm 55 verse 15 je ki ku ki o di won mu ki won ki o si lo laaye si isa oku ni to ti wa buburu nbe ni bujoko won ati ninu won bi o se ti emi ni Emi o ke pe Olorun Oluwa yo si gba mi ni asale ni ohuro ni osan ni emi o ma gbadua emi o si ma kigbe kikan ohun si gbo ohun mi gbogbo eni to wa lafi ohun mi ati emi ati eyin Olorun yo bo wa o ti gba oko mi sile ni alafia lowo ogun ti o duro ti mi o nitori pe pelu opolopo eniyan ni won dide se mi Olorun yo bo yo si po won loju and then it's your chocolate tea bunny. Nitority, one could near you, Pada. One could see bear roller. What in a war a syrup, one to one near Lafia Pelure. What in damage more. Or when you're a cooler jury a mallow. Shubon, oh good jam, no one near yari. Or a cooler jury roller. Shubon, eat that fifa yo, no one. Go, every loss yara long. Oh, what's it more duro? On ki yo je ki e se lo do do ki o ye la ni. E se mi o ni ye. In the name of Jesus. Shubba yi wo loro. Ni yo mwa so ka le lo si o yi pan. A we ni yo e je. A ti e ni yo e tan. Ki yo pe. Ki yo pe a bo. O jo wan. Shubba e mi. Yo be ke li o. Amen. 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 Ne oruko jesu. Ogo ne fun oluwa ni okiyonu. 
ogo ni fun ti to bi agbara re ni oke orun ogo ni fun ise yanu re ni oke orun glory be to our god in the highest glory be to the king of kings in the highest glory be unto the ancient of days in the highest people of god give glory to the lord for the victory that we have received today give glory to the lord for the deliverance that we have received today give glory to the lord for his intervention in our lives as you give glory to the lord as we give glory to the lord throughout this week throughout this month throughout this year as from today as from this moment the glory of the lord shall manifest in our lives it shall manifest in our lives and in everything that we do in jesus name holy spirit we thank you we invite you into our midst Thank you for opening our eyes to this new topic. Father, Lord, we pray that you will descend in our midst. You will speak to us. You will teach us your word this morning. In the name of Jesus, Lord, open unto me the door of utterance. Speak through me, Lord. Grant me access to your secret room. Grant me access to your mystery room. Lord, open unto your people the door of faith. As your word comes out, let it find a glorious settlement in their spirit and in their heart. In the name of Jesus, I command the angels of my calling, take charge of this atmosphere right now. Fill this place with the power and the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as I open my mouth to speak, season the words of my mouth with power, with glory, with fire, with anointing, with salt, and with honey. Confirm your words in our lives with signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. In this place, and wherever your children may be listening and watching me right now, Lord, I cast and I bind every work of darkness around us. Lord, it is time for you to speak. Speak to us. It is time for you to walk. Walk with us. Holy Spirit, guide the thought of my mind and the words of my mouth. Forbid me from saying what you did not send me to say. Thank you, ancient of days. For in Jesus' mighty name. We have declared, amen, victory over Nemukan spirit. Victory over Nemukan spirit. Victory over Nemukan spirit. Is there anything like Nemukan spirit? How or where, where can it be found? In the Bible, who was Nemokan? How did he become spirit? Join me in the book of Esther, chapter 1, as we first read verses 10, 11, and 12. Esther, chapter 1, from verse 10 to verse 12, so that we can understand. Esther, chapter 1, verses 10 to 12. And on the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Mehuman, Bista, Abona, Bigta, Abagta, Zeta, and Kakas, the seven chamberlains that served in the presence of Ahasuerus the king, to bring Vashti the coin before the king with the crown royal. To show the people and the princes her beauty, for she was fair to look upon. Now, verse 12. But the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by its chamberlains. Therefore, was the king very wroth, and his anger burned 
in him. I pray for you in the name of Jesus on the day of your glorification, on the day when you will be celebrated, I decree the spirit of error shall not descend upon you. You, I decree, costly mistake that dethroned people from honor to dust. You shall not commit such mistake. I shall not commit such mistake in the name of Jesus on the day when you will be honored, on the day when you will be showcased for glory in the name of Jesus. That day you will not misbehave. That day you will not say what you are not supposed to say. I pray for you. All I tell you. Ah, you are telling your man to feel man to know a lot job. Ah, me or new. You are not on you. I pray for you. I pray for your children. In the name of Jesus. Every character uh -uh, that dethrones people from a place of honor ah, to the place of shame. That character shall not be seen in you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, on the day of your glory, you will not misbehave. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you shall not go there. Lord, you shall not go to me now. Oh, Nishiwa. Emina o Nishiwa. Every spirit of error assigned against you to relegate you. We cast them out by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I pray for myself. As long as you live, as long as I live, arrow of error shall not strike you, shall not hit you. Offer she shall not bow. Offer she shall not be me now. Oh, this she shall not do lori. If me now, this she shall not do lori. I decree, ah, ah, satanic arrow of error ah, ah, shall not touch you. Ah, it shall not touch me also in the name of Jesus. Now, let's take it gradually because I really want you to understand this topic. Now, from verse 10 to 12, we have read the story of, a, of an influential king that has a beautiful wife, the most beautiful woman, you know, in the town or in the city and the king was willing to flaunt the beauty of his wife he wants everyone to see how beautiful the queen is or was we have seen what happened now let's quickly jump to verse 15 to 19 we are gradually getting there you will see this man now in true color verse 15 we are in Esther chapter 1, verse 15 to 19. Now, after the king was so angry because the queen embarrassed him, he now called for people. He called his cabinet. What shall be done? Now, let's go to verse 15. What shall we do unto the queen Vashti according to law? Because she had not performed the commandment of the king, as well as by the chamberlains. Verse 16. And Memukan, Esther chapter 1, verse 16. Memukan answered, I mean, it was a cabinet, cabinet of wise men, but it was only Memukan that spoke. Memukan answered before the king and the princes. Vashti, the queen, have not done wrong to the king only but also to the princes and to all the people that are in all the provinces of the king Aswerus. Verse 17, For this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women, so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes. When it shall be reported, the king Ahasuerus commanded Vashti, the queen, to be brought in before him, but she came not. Likewise, 
shall the ladies of Persia, Kilo Kawa, and Media, say this day unto all the king's princes, which have heard of the deed of the queen, thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath. Shen Bo Memukan. Ha! Can you hear Memukan? Verse 19. If it please the king, now this, <laughs> you, <laughs> the king called for advice. Now it was Memukan that was giving the evil advice, and it was Memukan that was even giving judgment. Verse 19. He said, If it please the king, let there go a royal commandment from him, and let it be written among the laws of the Persians and the Medes. That it may not be altered. Can you hear me, Mukan? That Vashti come no more. Ah, That was a domestic problem. Problem between husband and wife. That Vashti come no more before King Asros. And let the king give a royal estate unto another that is better than she. Let the king give a position. A honor, a royal estate, the essence of a living to somebody else. Now let's go to verse 21. Let's go to verse 21. And the saying was pleasing, and the saying pleased the king and the princes. Jerry Memukan opened, he packaged his statement such that the Bible said he was pleasing to the king and to the princes. And the king did according to the word of Memukan. Underline that, you know, statement in verse 21. And the king did according to the word of Memukan. Not according to what the king planned to do. Not according to what the king actually wanted to do. After all, it was his wife that we are talking about but the king did according to memuka listen attentively everyone when vashti misbehaved in the palace of his of her husband when vashti committed that error it was not the king that removed vashti it was not the princess that removed Vashti. It was only one man that is called Memukan. <laughs> Victory over Memukan spirit. John chapter 3 verse 6. John chapter 3 verse 6 says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit a spirit. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12 verses 33 to 35. Matthew chapter 12 verses 33 to 35 said a tree, a, a good tree bring about good fruit. Now listen attentively. Where am I driving at? People that does evil are possessed by a particular spirit that pushes them to act as such. If you see anyone that does evil, that act in a contrary way, they are possessed and pushed by a spirit to act in that manner. Now, when these people die, the spirit does not die. When the people that acted wickedly dies the spirit remain and it transfer to another person and it began to operate in the same capacity that he operated in the life of the person that died now the memokan spirit is the spirit that worked wickedness in mamukan the Memokan spirit is the spirit that walked in Memokan to do evil. I hope you are getting it. The Memokan spirit is that spirit 
that worked in Memuka to perform a particular evil. Now, when Memukan died, that spirit transferred to another person and operated in that particular manner, in that particular way. It is the body that died. The spirit does not die. I hope you are getting it now. Now, for you to understand better, the name Memukan only appeared three times in the whole of the Bible. The name Memokan only appeared, it was just in that chapter. It appeared first in Esther chapter 1, verse 14. They mentioned Memokan. Then, verse 16, chapter 1, verse 16, the second time they mentioned Memokan. And then, chapter 1, verse 21 was the third time that they mentioned Memokan. And that was the only time from Genesis to Revelation that the name Memukan appeared. And when your call won't someone Memukan, nobody named their child or children after Memukan because eventually they recognized that he was not a good man. They recognized that there was a demon, there was a spirit that operated in him to perpetrate that evil act. There was a demon operating in that name. Demon that dethrones. So, excuse me, since that time till now, there was no single Memukan. Because Memukan was not just a name, sir. Memukan was a principality. Memukan was a demon. And because of this, I am going to start opening your eyes to the spiritual meaning of this spirit because that is what concerns us that is what concerns us i want to begin to open your eyes to the meaning i mean the spiritual meaning of that spirit what is the memukan spirit what is the memukan spirit by the grace of god the holy spirit gave me seven definition in and i will give you the entire seven what is the memukan spirit? Emi wo lankwe ni emi memukane. Number one, oje emi o lufison. Number one, evil reporter. Evil emi ti man fe do yon son kiri. The spirit that intentionally reports you about. Reports you so that evil can happen. Reports you before people so they can do you evil. Emi wo lankwe ni emi memukane. Oje emio lufison. By the power in the name of Jesus, every evil reporter around you, let the fire of God destroy them. Let the fire of God consume them. Talo mama fe do reseno. Talo foro yawo reseno. Talo foro awama reseno. To wan fe do wan suka akiri. Ki bi bali debao. Interpretation. Who are those people? Who is that person? that intentionally put the matter of your family in their mouth reporting you about reporting your wife about reporting my wife about reporting your children about reporting my children about with the intention of evil happening to them in the name of jesus that evil intention in their hearts we return it back to the sender we return it back to the sender. We return it back to the sender. Bubbo lufisu to yoka. Bubbo lufisu to yimika. Ujo ina komaro le molori. Every evil reporter around you. Every evil reporter around me. Rain of fire. Rain of fire. Rain of the anger of God. Begin to fall upon them. Begin to fall upon them. Mubadua. And ya ye won and woman no wa thirty has a woman with his baby. We are by to see there. Everyone under the sound of my voice that is already trapped in the hands of evil reporter. Today the Lord set you free. The Lord set you free from the evil reporter of your father's house, from the evil reporters of your mother's house. The Lord set you free. The Lord set you free. Who are to 
Jesus chole. Lord will do face with me. To be a lad of the days here. Oba oba chole. The Lord set you free. The Lord set me free from the hands of every evil reporter. That woman must be a lad of the day. To them fear your eyes so can it be? Ki bi ko ba le deba o. Ki bi ye pada le walori. Whoever that purposefully, aya, and intentionally, ah, uh -uh, speaking evil about you and your family, speaking evil about me and my family, let the evil return back to them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. What is the memo can spirit? It is called evil reporter, Emil Lufison. Number two, Emil Olanque in memo can spirit. Number two. Antagonist spirit, antagonist spirit. I want to believe that that matter was not actually because <laughs> it was not actually because Vashti refused to dance. Ah, ah. It, <laughs> in the corner, Sheba that was not the first time that. You know, a wife will act rudely to her husband. If we investigate deeper, if God can please play us a video of what happened about three, five thousand years ago concerning this matter, I am so sure that if the Holy Spirit can play us a video of what was going on in Memukan's family, you will discover that our, his own wife is worse. Am I ministering to somebody? If the Lord can please show us a video of Memukan family, you will discover that his wife is worse than Vashti. But because he was an antagonist, there is a Yoruba proverb to so we may It means the only one that is permitted to get rude or to be rude to you is your partner, your wife. It was not the first time that the wife would insult or act rudely to the husband. But what is his own? Excuse me, sir. I want to believe that ever since they married Vashti in her glory and in her beauty, Memukan have been so bad and so rot in, in the spirit. Ever since the king married Vashti, because of her beauty, I want to believe that Memukan was not cool. I want to believe, mommy, that each time Vashti dressed in a royal robe, and he said, you go to the market, go to the superstore, you go to the clinic. The, every time Vashti gives out order in her husband's palace, I want to believe there was a Memukan that is looking at her and say, ah, ah, talo big who are her parents? What happened? You really, this one now come to the palace and be giving orders. Are you getting what I'm saying? And my message to everyone today is, if if God has placed you in a position of honor, be observant, be vigilant, be careful. Not many people are actually happy because of your joy. Even your PA or the closest friends. Not many people, even closest friends, even closest family. It is not everyone that is saying it's royal highness, a royal highness, Sakio. It is not everyone that gives you honor are actually doing it from their heart. I want to believe that it did not start that day. Because the punishment was too harsh. Come and dance. I'm not ready to dance now. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh Lord God Almighty. Are you getting this spiritual gist? Memukan de Dubai. Memukan stood and he was antagonizing the wife before the husband. And the husband could not do anything. The husband could not do anything. 
because they have their own way of doing it that you will not even suspect the husband as memo can started speaking the husband never suspected that he wanted to ruin his wife come be memo can she be saying to all yes come come off a battle ya wo unjeni if god has put you in a position of honor if god has elevated you in the family be watchful there are memo camps there are memo camps there are memo camps that look at you and say good money but in their spirit they are saying bad money there are memo camps that are saying congratulations but in their spirit they are saying ah oh she don't why must she be the one each time your husband gives you beautiful wristwatch each time your husband buys you gold necklace and you quickly send a picture and you send to your friend say oh oh as a matter of fact beyond that ah uh, is a memo camp spirit Nick Bata was cook or their fire when we were in school, she was not beautiful. She was this, she was that. Konewa. How come she was the luckiest one that married a good husband? Behind those people that you call your friends and your inner circle, they are a memuka. They are waiting for the day to antagonize you. And me a Somebody say, ah, this is my experience. Number three. What is memokan spirit? Emi wo lang pe ni memokan spirit. Number three, yeah. Oja kini o emi ajanibo demoting spirit, spirit of demotion. Ah, Jesus. Shola odubo wale mo kola ti jabo mi o ne jabo. Shola odubo wale. I refuse to be demoted. I shall not be demoted. Shola odubo wale. My wife, my children. I receive to be demoted. I shall not be demoted. Shola Dubo Wale. I refuse to be demoted. I shall not be demoted. What is Memokan spirit, mommy? The spirit of demotion. The spirit that demotes. A mere janibo. Demoting spirit. A all vasty. Highly regarded. Well placed. In the kingdom. Suddenly became a nobody. Excuse me, from Genesis to Revelation, that was the last time. Yes, sir, that was the last time. I repeat it again. That was the last time we had of Vashti because somebody demoted her. Ah, you be okay, la to an yamaresi. O de la jule memukande jabo. Ah, Vashti was created. His portion was to operate from the top. Ah! And she opened her eyes. And Memo can demoted her. A Janibo. A Jasare Badwai. Was up a Baba. O Kenimua. My Jen Jabology. Wama Tenuma. We want to Obama post Siloke Mabawa Badwai. We want to quickly pray this prayer point. You will say, Father. I'm at the top. I must not come down suddenly. If you know that you are not at the top, please don't pray this prayer. This prayer point is for those that are at the top. We want to say, my father, I'm at the top already. I'm at the top already. In the name of Jesus, I must not come down suddenly. I must not come down suddenly. Begin to pray that prayer. Ancient of this, King of glory, Jehovah, everlasting father, I'm at the top already. I must not come down. Yes, okay, Nimoa. Tayatomo, okay, Nimoa. My Jen Jabolua. I will not come down. My wife will not come down. My children shall not come down. I shall not be demoted. My wife shall not be demoted. My children shall not be demoted. In ministry, I shall not be demoted. In finances, I shall not be demoted. Okay, Nimoa, yes. My Jen Jabo in Jesus. My name, we have prayed. What is Memoka spirit? A mere janibo. Book Benito Sareko le jabo. So much, me. Excuse me. Are you going to say amen? Everyone that is running, that is on an errand, that is making efforts. 
for you to be demoted. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus, we send them to the grave. We send them to the grave. We send them to the grave. Excuse me. Sometimes among the siblings, there is a memuka. You have not heard of when it is the brother. I mean, by the grace of God, I'm a prophet and a spiritual counselor. I hear stops. You see a family, the firstborn is running so that the thirdborn can fall. Or the lastborn is running so that their firstborn can fall. You want to take the position of the firstborn from the firstborn. I decree every memo can around you, the Lord disgraced them. Every memo can around me, the Lord disgraced them in the name of Jesus. Are you learning something this morning? It was the Holy Spirit that caught my attention to this topic. I sat down and he gave me details. Number four is <laughs> getting deeper now. Somebody say it's getting deeper. Somebody type is getting deeper because I need your attention. I want somebody to type is getting deeper. Ah, number four. Emi wolangpeni memukan spirit. What is memukan spirit? Number four. Oje emiafa emiafe no parawo Jesus emiafe no parawo what is that star killers it means star killers it is a spirit that uses the word of the mouth to kill stars excuse me ajekolo javastibo it was not a witch or wizard. It was not a abalist. It was not a wicked pastor or prophet that dropped the star of Vashti. He was just with the word of mouth. Esa, enunimofi parawo Vashti. What is the spirit of Memuka? Star killers. Star droppers. It is a spirit of principality, sir, that uses the word of a mouth. To to ensure that a star that is shining instantly loses its brightness. A mere fair no parao. Excuse me, ma. A whole vast to get to baron in the boro in the amaro or a denitan leku. A whole vast that whenever he's walking in the public, everyone bow down. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness. Now became a woman that was banished. Kuli duola ari awe nyama. Esa irawole jabo. Eja badua. Oluwa irawone me. Majera omi jabo. Irawone me oluwa. Majen jabo. Let's quickly pray this prayer. We want to say, Father, I am a star. I must not lose my brightness. I am a star. I must not lose my brightness. Begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray that prayer. I am a star. My wife is a star. My children are stars. We must not lose our brightness. In the name of Jesus. We must not lose our brightness. We must not lose our position. We must not suddenly drop from the sky. In the name of Jesus. My gen so go no irawo ni mi ta yato mo oluwa ma gen jabo lord i am a star i must not lose my brightness irawo ni mi o jesu ma je rawo mi o wo mi irawo ni mi oluwa ma je rawo mi o wo mi nile baba nile iya irawo ni mi ninu ijo ninu ebi ni bi gbogbo irawo ni mi irawo mi o gbodo wo mi in the name of jesus lord i am a star i must not lose my brightness Ah, I am a star. Haya. I must not lose my relevance. Yes, we are one me. My girl, I want you, woman. You are one, 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Somebody is asking, what is number two? <laughs> number one, Memoka spirit, Emil Lufison, evil reporter. Number two, Emi alatako 
antagonist spirit. What is Memokan spirit? Number three, a mere janibor, demoting spirit. What is Memokan spirit, sir? Number four, a mere feno parawo, star killers. I have seven. I think that four is enough for you, right? I think that that four is enough. That four has opened you up to prayers. And it has opened your understanding. Abi, four years now, two. Sister Toby, any. Kemi Anderson. Ati Kemi Anyiju. Four years now, two. Mommy Elizabeth Agdepegba. She be four, two, no, seven. Yay! Number five. People are typing, no. No, PSO. No, sir. Number five. Ele can you be Ah, every woman should pray this one. Pray this prayer point. Number five. What is Memokan spirit? Oje emi ashinini di Jesus. It is it is a, it is a spirit of dethronement, spirit that dethrones or displays or evict eviction spirit, dethronement spirit, displacement spirit. Ashinini di. Emi to woni susunsun pe ile yi tin doju ani ohun atoko re ti gunju o se do nikan lan ra le ra moto fun e ja sindile oko yen yo se a ma pase le wa lori ki lojo ori re ti o mo pase fa we gbe iya laya re e wa e ja sinidi Spirit that says, ah ah, how old is she? Who is she? Who are you? Who gave back to you? Ordinary you. What is your qualification that you'll be doing this and that? Ah ah, why is she the only one enjoying a marriage? Yet last year they bought her a Lexus. This year they already bought her a Benz. And they are thinking of buying her a house. Uh, uh, amongst our friends, why is she the only one enjoying a marriage? Let's evict her. <laughs> Let's dethrone her. That's Likaroshan Tayaba. The spirit of Memukan is a spirit that dethrones you, that evicts you, that displaces you, that removes you from your place of comfort and enjoyment. Emiashinity. Marorasa Bile Rebandu, Bibe Yahoo Rebandu La Mumara, Namu Jukuru, Nilquenu Nijano, Marorao. If you are enjoying your marriage, be very careful. As I'm speaking now, you need to watch the circle of your friends. So I'm not speaking against single mothers. So please, so don't misunderstand me. I'm not preaching against those that are not married you. Please don't misunderstand you. But when you look at the circle of your friends, you are six friends, six, and you are the only one that is still married among six. The remaining five have left their husband's home. Excuse me, you are in the wrong circle. Truth be told. You may not like me for this truth, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Excuse me. It is the truth. I as you are listening to me, I want you to look at your friends. Yeah, I want you to look at your circle. or Six jolly friends. Five left their marriage. Only you is married. Excuse me. You need to start thinking of changing your circle of friends. Because directly or indirectly, excuse me, mommy. I am so sorry. I'm not I'm not against being single. But as a pastor, yeah, as a pastor, a prophet, yeah, and a spiritual counselor, yeah. I have seen and I have deduced. I have seen that. Women that comes out to the public and say, I don't care. I don't need that man. 
I can do anything by myself. I have my job. I'm a doctor. I'm a pharmacist. I can't and a nurse. I have my own house. I can pay my mortgage without him. I can take care of my children. Excuse me. From the little time that I spent with them, I have discovered that inwardly they are not happy. I have discovered that inwardly they are not peaceful. I have discovered that inwardly they are not satisfied. Excuse me. Oh, if you surround yourself with these people too much, because in your marriage now, they begin to see the joy that they have once enjoyed. They begin to see the care and happiness that they have once enjoyed. If they see it too much, excuse me, Shebenyani, directly or indirectly, they begin to think otherwise. I'm so sorry. This one may be too harsh, but it's the truth. She just want to call my daughter and tell me what. Daughter and your mother family, and me as she need. You are saying yes, so I don't need him. Get away! I just want a divorce. And then we are talking. Continue to fight with other things. So come. The next thing, I just feel very ill. I just feel very ill. And you let somebody me so quick that being shared. And you let solo the YouTube. Email so I didn't say that. Aya, me muka spirit, e me ashini niti. E ya gbadua udua. Talolo ma shini ku ni bi ayome. Talolo ma shini ku ni bi fokambale me. Olu e be she to lile wolo. Hey oh, are we ready to pray this prayer? We want to say Father. Anyone that is determined to evict me, to remove me from my place of joy and comfort, listen, you will say, Father, give them a difficult task. Lord, give them a difficult task. Whoever that is determined, whoever that wants to remove me from my place of peace, joy, and comfort, Lord, give them a difficult task. Begin to pray that prayer. Begin to pray that prayer. Talolo ma shimini di. Talolo ma le mini bi ayome. Talolo ma le mini bi ogo me. Talolo ma le mini bi ola me. Olu e shi wani di. Olu e shi wani di. Olu e shi wani di. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty man, we have prayed. Apologies, I'm going to say this. Preaching the true word of God. And I'm going to say this. Apologies if you talk about about. This is not to attack anybody. But this is the moment of truth. We had a program recently at the wealthy place in our church. It was a Valentine's program. God sees my heart. The purpose and the intention of the program is to especially encourage the singles in our church to showcase, to make them see the joy sweetness and happiness in marriage so that they can start looking forward to marriage why why did i do that excuse me i look around what is going on now in this generation i check the internet and i can see how much the ministry of marriage is so much abused there are feminists out there satanic and demonic pastors preaching against marriage now i can now see I can see and I admit singles that are saying they only need a child, one child. They, are, they don't even want to taste marriage. And I sat down. Let's begin to do something. Let's show our singles and our youth that marriage is sweeter than anything or anybody can imagine. And then we put the program. You know, it was a sweet program. Go and check our YouTube channel, Love Sunday. Go and check that video, Love Sunday 2024. We dedicated marriage. We did all stops. Later on, somebody came to me and said, Pierre, so we have to stop that love Sunday. I said, stop. <laughs> I quickly paused. I said, eh, come to the office. So we have to stop that love Sunday. I said, why? He said, some people are complaining bitterly. Why will Pierre so bring this kind of program to church? It's like they are showing off some people and can come. Ah, I said, he said, ah, this and this and this are bitter. 
I said, I said, please, man, don't mention all of them. Just give me two or three. And by the time the person mentioned two or three, I discovered that there are people that are personally counseled about marriage, about rebuilding. And they said, no, 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 I'm done. Pierce, so no, 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 shepherd, shepherd, I'm sorry, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Man, no, man, I mean, I can do everything. You say you are done, you can do everything by yourself and on your own. Now, you see people that are married, they are celebrating marriage, they are celebrating love, and you are bitter. Now, I can now see, ah, oh God, oh God. I can now see that not many people that are talking evil about marriage are act, not many people that are talking evil about marriage actually hate marriage. Some of them love love. <laughs> Did you hear me that? Did you hear that? They actually love love. But unfortunately, they, are, they were unlucky. Our God is a God of second, second chance. Our God is a God of many chances. If you missed it the first time, it can give you another chance. That does not mean you should attack love, relationship, and marriage. Be positive, and it will send a positive person to you. Excuse me. And you'll be married, and you will enjoy. And you will enjoy. <laughs> Somebody said, I love love. <laughs> I can see the comment. I said to that person, I said, can I send you back? I said, go and help me tell those people that as long as the wealthy place remain, and as long as I am the pastor of the wealthy place, we are going to be improving on this love Sunday. It can only get better. He said, she said, hey, excuse me, it can only get better. This one that we have started, we cannot stop. Because I've seen a lot of singles that came to my office and said, Pierre, so please pray for me. I love what happened on Love Sunday. Please pray for me. I want to get married this year. Those are my target. Those are the people that God sent me to. But listen, oh, there is a spirit that is called the Memuka spirit, which is what the spirit of dethronement, the spirit of eviction, the spirit of displacement. Displacement. What's the time? Ah, uh, no wonder. Time to look. No wonder. By the special grace of God. We are going to continue this topic on Thursday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Shiloh. I'm only going to leave you. I'm going to lead you. Um, I'm going to lead you in prayers of mercy. God's mercy, help, provision, and all that. God's blessing. That's going to be our focus tomorrow. As you know, that I don't like treating deliverance topic on Wednesdays. Except otherwise. Or except I don't have a choice. So, um... I have given you five out of seven spiritual meaning of Memokan spirit. I will give you the remaining two. And I will give you seven things that you need to do. Maybe after, after listening to this sermon or this teaching, I have opened your eyes. I you said, ah, so this is what has been going on around me. What should I do? Because I was still on point number two. That somebody already posted a comment or wrote a comment and said, Hey, PSO, what is the way out? And I was still on point number two. Could that person have not even had anything? Point number two. So, what should I do when I notice Memocan spirit around me? Or when I'm being afflicted or tormented by Memocan spirit? What should I do? I'm going to give you seven things to do. Seven seven things to do and i'm going to lead you in nothing less than 25 prayer points all the prayers that we have prayed they are prayer snack they go with anger attack so we prayer snack i do like pan on your mother you have pan the ones that we have prayed that we, that we prayed earlier they are snack prayer prayer snack i do like pan on it i come up pan on come up i do a pan on 
and it won't be a son. So yeah, I drive Panoa as well. I drive Baba. Sharing me, Oluwa. Sharing me. I become one rest true, Almighty Father. The people you are drive Panoni. So on Thursday we're not going to serious prayer. Gang, 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 gang. Two ni shepe and Panu. Serious prayer to demolish the Memukan kingdom around us. May the Lord answer our prayers in the mighty name. Hey, prayer snack. God bless you. A dry panel. Panel. On like Berlin. A coffee panel. Fair, fair. You mean those powerful prayers? I need a panel. He said, by the time I begin to raise some prayers on Thursday, uh, you will know that. A dry yato sadwa. There are prayers and there are prayers. Yes, I will lead us in intentional or deliberate prayers to demolish the Memokan kingdom and the Lord shall destroy them around us in the mighty name. Fair and fair. I just gave you fair and fair. Lord, I want to pray for every birthday celebrant of today, especially uh, Ogawa Tokowani IT. Our IT teacher, Mr. Bode. Mr. Bode. I can't. Ah, I can last name, Mr. Bode. I can't. I can't motivate me. How can you forget your teacher's um, your teacher's name? Yes, that's our IT teacher that taught us in class. Mr. Bode is celebrating his birthday today. A wonderful man of God. Very caring. He has listening ears, and I want everyone around him to grow. If it's easy for Mr. Body to take everyone to IT field for you to be making good money, he will do that. I pray for you. You will live long in good health. And prosperity, Mr. Body Elnik Jabo. You will not be demoted in the name of Jesus. Etin Jedi Dosa Elnepa da Jekoro. You have been tasting or eating sweetness, sir. May you never taste bitterness, sir. In the name of Jesus. Bobore de Teti Julola Ye. Kunepa da Junilo. In the name of Jesus, at it to him, see what you say. Any father say, the enemy, the world of wickedness, shall not put your life on reverse. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce God's protection over you and over your household. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, Mr. Body, on behalf of myself, my family. And every Adoro family, happy birthday. Thank you for being a blessing to this ministry and to the wealthy place. Allow the Tandor in the name of Jesus. Every birthday celebrant of today, I decree by the power in the name of Jesus. Emma Wonwo Gulo, as to celebrate your birthday today, enter into new glory, enter into new prosperity. Enter into new success. How shall I forget my own spiritual daughter? On that official secretary and treasurer of Association of March Celebrant of the Wealthy Place, Bolanle Balogu, aka BB, aka Bread and Beans. And Memo BB Lunje, I interpreted that BB to Bread and Beans. Bolanle Balogu, Yo Darafon. Ayo ni sonu lo wore. Oware te ore tutu. Oware te ayo tutu. Asho go ni faya la rare. Adu are ba. Olu wa mwa de bi ayo re. O joko ni nwa la. O joko ni nwa la. O joko ni nwa fo kambale. Eni ani yo ma si yo. In the name of Jesus. Bo bwe nyama ta abini match. All the match celebrants. You are special people. The best month of the year. Eh, a very low angeli, angeli oh, oswolo da julaye, olo su machine. There was a conference, and they asked the angels. They say angels from January to December, 
which is the best month. They said it is March. So I pray for every March celebrant. Begin to march forward. And you February about what shame. February, February a shame. And me come the money cause we in shortage. About what shame February. Bubu mo march, march into glory, march into success. Because we belong to the only prophetic month of of the year. March into greater achievement. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Be a new special month. I'm a dad for you. October, Bahu. October, they are noise makers. I'm a lady. Come and see them in our church. I don't want to put you. I don't want to put you. It is well, Jerry. Yes. October. Why is everybody writing October? October? You can see now. October, they like making noise. A baffle match. Go and check history. The greatest people of the world are born in the month of March. Month of leaders. The richest people of the world are born in the month of March. The kindest people, kindest, to kind each other, most loving. March born, they are lovers, naturally lovers. Peaceful loving people. Born in the month of March. Born in the month of March. So March is the March month of the year. Happy birthday to us. To batty fuck on the March. I hear it done. If you are single and you don't want to marry somebody else's husband, you want to marry your own destiny husband. Go and anybody that comes to ask you the first question, are you match born? If it's not match, say, let me go and think about it. Are you born in the month of March? If the person says yes, you are in good hands. March, they love love. They are natural lovers. Yes, we are not toxic people. Sherry, we watch and say October, 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 October. Me, I don't know about February, but March. Hmm, the greatest people of the world are born in the month of March. Eshejari Miriam Ayola, God bless you for that confirmation. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. You darafon. Yes, you darafon. I will no go to Tulu. Nigerian president is March also. God bless you, Mommy Mayegun. Presidential month, the month of March. God bless you. So, by the special grace of God, um, I don't know I October two are nice people, but I want to put you. I want to put you. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. By the special grace of God. In the name of Jesus, I will see it all over. God bless you. Tomorrow is Shiloh. Don't forget. God, it is time. Remember me. Part two. That's what we are treating at Shiloh tomorrow. May the Lord remember us for good. Oh, double. <laughs>
Oh, shit. 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 O